Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care. And today I would like to explain rosacea because this is a skin disorder that can often affect the eyes and can cause some severe trouble. So you may or may not know that uh, rosacea can cause redness particularly on the face or on the shoulders or chest and it's a skin disorder where uh, the blood vessels uh, can be more prominent towards the surface and mainly it causes trouble with the oil glands in the skin. So we see this usually between people uh, 30 to 60 years of age and can be a little bit more common in females and then also can be more common in people that have fair skin. Like we will see often people with very fair skin and red hair, kind of a stereotypical Irish uh, skin type and they can often have rosacea where they get these red flushing uh, through the middle of their face. Now some people can have triggers that can make this worse at times, uh, which could be alcohol or maybe coffee or different types of food that they may notice that their face can really flush more. But as far as the eyes go, what really concerns us is that it can cause blepharitis or trouble with the oil glands along the eyelids. These oil glands are made to provide good natural lubrication for the eyes and when they become more thick and they don't flow like they should, they can cause inflammation and irritation on the eyes. Now with this, some people could have blockage of the oil glands where it swells up to create a sty or a chalazion or they could have problems with dryness and irritation because they're not getting the good natural lubrication that they should. In severe cases, this could progress to severe dryness and even cause trouble with scarring on the cornea or severe inflammation on the surface of the eye. Fortunately, many times rosacea can be adequately treated by a pill which is in the tetracycline family. A lot of times we like to use doxycycline or minocycline and although this is an antibiotic pill, we use it because it also works as anti-inflammatory and it can have a dramatic effect on people with rosacea, helping to clear their skin and then also helping with the eyes and the eyelids to get these oils moving better and make them much more comfortable. Uh, many times it takes maybe four to six weeks to build up the full effect from the medicine, but then once it's under control, we can often back down into lower doses. Other people, if they progress to severe stages, they may end up needing more aggressive treatment to help lubricate the eyes. And if they have severe scarring, they may lead to corneal transplant in rare cases, although often we don't like to do this because the transplant can be, have a lot of trouble because of the lubrication and the severe dryness and scarring to the surface. So fortunately, if you have rosacea, there uh, could be help and hope that you could be um, treated for this and get more comfortable. If you have any questions, please post. We'll be happy to answer them. And we hope to see you again soon next time on State of Sight.